A plugin is a small software module that you can plug into After Effects, giving the program added functionality. Today I'm going to show you 10 typography related plugins that will provide you with added power when you're working with text inside of Adobe After Effects. So I've provided links to all of these plugins down in the video description, and I'm also offering a giveaway for three of these in particular, so be sure to check out the links for more details on that contest. So for our first plugin, we have Text Delay. This plugin allows you to delay your text animations by character, word, or line while keeping your original easing information. You can use a range selector to control precisely which characters or words receive delay and which do not. It's compatible with motion blur and paragraph text. iExpressions 2 is a super cool plugin that allows you to use expressions without having to know how to read or write code. While the full bundle comes in at around $200, you can get just the source text bundle for $45. It comes with 22 ready-to-use expressions, such as counter numbers, counter time, distribute text to layers, evolution, linear wipe, and many others. This is one of the plugins that we're offering as a freebie, so be sure to check out the link in the video description to enter it for a chance to win. Textbox is a native plugin that creates a perfectly sized, customizable shape behind your text. It will update automatically and is applied directly to your text layer, so there's no need for parenting, mats, or expressions. It works with 3D text and paragraph text, and is compatible with motion blur. The Text Exploder plugin allows you to split text layers into characters, words, lines, and more, and the placement of each character is accurately preserved. You can use this to isolate a single word, or you can use it for powerful and flexible custom splits with regular expressions. We're doing a giveaway for this plugin as well, so be sure to check the links in the description. Cartoon Mobler is a really cool plugin that allows you to add stylish motion trails to your graphics, just like regular motion blur, but only more cartoony. The customizable parameters include shutter angle, color, and opacity. The track mats are extremely common when you're working with text inside of After Effects, and they can often lead to a mess of a timeline. So this plugin kind of takes care of that. With Effect Mat, you can add a perfectly sized and customizable mat to your layer, removing the need for an additional layer to act as a track mat. So the Font Manager is an all new way to work with animated typefaces. You can create and write new ones with just a few clicks. The user interface closely resembles the character panel inside of Adobe After Effects, so you'll be up and running with this plugin in no time. One of the coolest features of this plugin is that it supports securing in metrics, so it'll automatically analyze these and adjust accordingly. Text to Spreadsheet is a really interesting plugin, especially if you're working with a high number of text graphics. The plugin allows you to export text from your After Effects project into a spreadsheet, then you can apply the modified spreadsheet to the After Effects project once again with a single click. This is really great for text translation, client review, and other text processing tasks. And this is our third freebie, so again check those links in the video description to enter for your chance to win. Shadow Studio is a native plugin that simulates a variety of different shadow styles, including soft, radial, inner, and long shadows. The plugin includes three presets to create popular styles, and is compatible with After Effects version 6 and up. Last but not least is the Artificial Intelligence Titles plugin. Now, this is an all-in-one solution. With just a few clicks, you can customize over 100,000 different variations of looks. Preset categories include squares and circles, design bars, text fields, and a variety of social media presets. You can achieve all of these looks without touching a single keyframe. Okay, so there you have it. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you did, be sure to hit that like button, and if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. And don't forget, I'm giving away three of these plugins for free. If you want to enter for a chance to win, just check those links down in the video description. Okay, I'll see you next time.